five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition. Lift off of the Falcon 9 and Crew Dragon. Go NASA. Go SpaceX. Godspeed, Bob and Doug. Vehicle pitching downrange. One Alpha. Copy. One Alpha. Stage one propulsion is nominal. Falcon power intometry nominal. M1D throttle down. Vehicle is supersonic. We've exceeded Mach 1 on the Falcon 9. M1D throttle up. We're throttling back up to full power as we're one through Bravo. Max Q. Copy, one Bravo. And we heard that one Bravo call out. That's just the second aboard zone that they're in. They'll continue to be on this until the first stage has done its job and they switch over to the second. At this point, Bob and Doug pulling about 2.3 Gs, 2.3 times the Earth's gravity, already moving at over 1,500 miles per hour. We've heard the call out for MVAC engine chill. That's getting the MVAC engine ready to light. That'll come at about 2.44 into flight. Right now, everything continuing to look good. Next major event coming up is gonna be the triple. We'll have main engine cutoff of the nine first stage engines, stage separation, and then ignition of the second stage engine to continue to carry astronauts into orbit. Coming up in about 20 seconds. M M1D throttle down. We heard we're throttling down the Merlin engines on the first stage. And we have Miko. Miko. Two Alpha. Falcon stage separation confirmed. Copy two Alpha. MVAC ignition. All right, we have stage separation confirmed. The first stage beginning its flight back. The second stage being powered by that single Merlin 1D vacuum engine has ignited and is now carrying Bob and Doug into orbit. So they're going to continue under the power of this second stage. Stage two propulsion is nominal which will cut off at SECO, or second engine cut off, at about eight minutes and 44 seconds into today's flight. So a little over five minutes to go still on this second stage. You heard the call out to Alpha, so they're now in the longest abort zone that carries them all the way from about North Carolina up the eastern seaboard almost to Canada. Things looking good, though, getting good call outs, nominal propul pul propulsion on that second stage. Bob and Doug continuing to make their way into orbit. Dragon SpaceX, nominal trajectory. Acquisition of signal in Bermuda. SpaceX Dragon, nominal trajectory. All right, here in nominal trajectory, so Dragon pointed in the right direction, continuing to make their flight uphill. Heard acquisition of signal Bermuda, that's one of the other ground stations that they're using to get telemetry and data back from this spacecraft. Stage two propulsion is still nominal. little over four minutes, 40 seconds into the flight. Bob and Doug flying at more than 5,600 miles Dragon per SpaceX hour. Dragon SpaceX nominal trajectory. 
already almost 200 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. Nominal trajectory continuing. And while they continue uphill, it looks like we are getting a view of the first stage as well. Yep, on your right screen, you can see that first stage with the grid fins deployed. It's making its way back to attempt to land on our drone ship. Of course, I still love you today. And we're just about a minute, uh, a couple minutes away from the entry burn, and that's where three of the nine Merlin engines do ignite to help slow the vehicle down as it re-enters back into the Earth's atmosphere. And then after the entry burn will be the landing burn, which is just a single engine Dragon burn. SpaceX nominal trajectory. And you heard nominal starting chills for entry burn. There's that call out. They are still on a nominal trajectory on Dragon, still on second stage, and that's that MVAC engine on second stage on your left screen. Again, on your right screen is that first stage booster coming back towards our drone ship. Of course, I still love you. We're about a minute away from entry burn. Meanwhile, that second stage continuing to power Dragon into orbit. Again, if you're keeping an eye on that timer, that's going to continue to burn until 8 minutes and 44 seconds into flight. So a little over two minutes from now, we'll hear the call out Seco. It'll then be a little stage under. Stage two propulsion is still over. good. A little over three minutes until Dragon physically separates from the second stage of the Falcon 9 after the upper Dragon stage Space gets a X chance. Dragon SpaceX nominal trajectory. Dragon copies nominal trajectory. Continuing to check in with Bob and Doug as they are on a nominal trajectory. Just about 10 seconds away from that first stage starting that entry burn on your right screen. We should be able to see that view live. Stage one entry burn startup. And there is that entry burn Equity beginning. This burn lasts about 36 seconds long. Stage two FTS is saved. that entry burn continues. We're just about a minute away from Seco. We'll have a number of events all happen in rapid succession. Uh, it'll Copy be the down. second engine cutoff. Stage one we'll be looking for down. that uh, stage one landing burn shortly after. Yeah, actually, just within a few seconds of each other. It's such a cool view on your left screen, seeing Bob and Doug on Dragon. Right now you can see the displays that they are seeing right now themselves. Terminal guidance. MVAC throttle step. We are coming up 25 seconds or so away from SECO or second engine cutoff. This is also the point where Bob and Doug are experiencing their highest G-force. We're seeing the counter tick up to right about 1.8. Copy Shannon. You heard Shannon, so that just means they're in their final abort zones. If they were to abort at this point, would either be an abort to orbit or to land off the coast of Ireland. Standing by for second Stage one cutoff startup. confirmation. MVAC throttle step. MVAC shut down. Stage one landing layer. Confirmation of Seco's second engine cutoff. Now we are waiting for our first stage to make its way to our drone ship. Of course, I still love Dragon, you. Dragon SpaceX nominal orbital insertion. Didn't get confirmation system is nominal orbital Dragon insertion. Dragon copies nominal stage orbital one insertion. One and what you're seeing on your screen is a live view of our drone ship, where our first stage will be coming down. Looks like we lost that live view, but we'll wait for confirmation of that landing shortly here. Falcon 9 first stage is successfully landed. And there you can see on your screen, Falcon 9 has landed. This is the first Falcon 9 to carry humans to orbit. So very exciting for us. And as you can see on your right screen, Bob and Doug are still 
making their way to their targeted orbit. <laughs> M1D to recovery one. So exciting today. <laughs> M1D. It doesn't stop. It does not stop. All right, we did, we did hear again that call out good orbital insertion, so that means Falcon 9 and Dragon right now exactly where they're supposed to be. And we need to FRC on recovery one. And it's right at about 12 minutes FRC, when Dragon will separate. Looks like we saw a zero G indicator floating around there. I know Bob and Doug owe us a little bit about what exactly that is that they brought up with them. <laughs> and before separation, before Dragon initiates separation from the second stage, they do make sure to make they, they do ensure that the vehicle is not spinning and it is in good con condition before we separate. That's right, the upper stage does small attitude maneuver using some cold gas thrusters built into the rocket body itself. Exactly, so we do expect that separation to occur in about a minute from now, but they do wait until they have full confirmation that it is ready to separate. Such cool views. I cannot get over this view that we are seeing right now. Bob and Doug on the right screen, inside of Crew Dragon, out in space. Yeah, already 200 kilometers over planet Earth, or a little over 124 miles, traveling in excess of 2,700 meters, 27,000 meters per second, or about 16,000 miles per hour. Again, we're just standing by. That separation event should be coming up shortly. Then they'll begin a series of checks on the Draco thrusters that are going to be used to maneuver and then power Dragon on its flight to the International Space Station. Standing by for separation. Expected loss of signal, wallops. It sounds like we had an expected LOS loss of signal with one of the ground stations. Waiting for confirmation now of that. Dragon setup. separation confirmed. Dragon separation and confirmed. <laughs> there is a great view right in front of you Count of Dragon December. separating. Separation confirmed. And there's that call out. Dragon is now officially making its way to the International Space Station today. Dragon SpaceX with that separation call. Uh, we have a few words for you from our Falcon 19. Standing by. Dragon, Chief Engineer on Dragon to Ground. Bob Doug, on behalf of the entire launch team, thanks for flying with Falcon 9 today. We hope you enjoyed the ride and wish you a great mission. Thanks, Bala. Congratulations to you and the F9 team for the first uh, human ride for Falcon 9. And it was incredible. Uh, appreciate all the hard work and uh, thanks for the great uh, ride to space. Copy all. Oh, Good luck. Like, proud of you guys and the rest of the team. Uh, thank you so much for what you've uh, done for us today, putting America back into low Earth orbit from the Florida coast. Copy all. Good luck. Godspeed. All right, so Bob and Doug are in and Dragon space. Dragon SpaceX, we confirm nominal eclipse activation and service section Draco checkouts. A uh, nose cone deploys in progress. Copy all, we're monitoring. The core here in Hawthorne giving the crew a heads up that we have confirmation the nose cone is just deploying. So again, that nose cone is going to open up a little bit more than 90 degrees, goes up to about, I think, 105 degrees, and that's going to expose uh, the actual docking ring and the hatch that they're going to be going through once they attach to the International Space Station. And also four of those Draco thrusters, we call them the forward bulkhead thrusters, that are going to be used for these major phase burns or firings of those thrusters to actually raise their orbit gradually over the coming hours. Also heard good activation of the ECLIS, that's the Environmental Control and Life Support System. That's everything controlling their atmosphere. Uh, just keeping Dragon a nice, safe, habitable environment where they're going to be living for the next 19 hours until they arrive at the space station.